open arms friends and families. Today's story time is about a bear who has trouble sleeping. It's called Bear Can't Sleep and it's written by Marnie McGee, illustrated by Sean Julian. Let's read together. Bear Can't Sleep. It was winter and all the animals were so busy. Soon, the forest will be covered in snow. Fox gathered wood for winter fires, while owl and squirrel made pickles and jam. Patch the hare tried to help, but he got in everyone's way as usual. Oh, get your feet out of my berries, cried squirrel. Listen, hooted owl, what's that strange sound? Peeking around the trees, the animals saw a huge grumbly bear dragging branches behind him. Everyone froze, except Patch. Hey, Mr. Bear, he shouted. Need some help? Leave me alone, snapped the bear. I need to sleep. And he shuffled into the cave. But the bear could not sleep. Day and night, he rolled and rumbled. He growled. He howled. That bear sounds angry, cried Fox. What if he comes after us, squeaked Mouse. Maybe he's hungry, said Squirrel. I'll take him some food, said Patch. I'm not scared of any old bear. Patch made a huge stack of blueberry and onion sandwiches and loaded them on his scooter. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Bear, he called zipping over. We made you a scrumptious snack. But Patch forgot to look where he was going. Suddenly his scooter hit a rock. Crash! Down he tumbled right on top of the blueberry and onion sandwiches. Splat! From inside the cave came a terrible roar. Be quiet! Get out of here! Bear bellowed. Or else! Eek! Squealed, me, squealed Mouse. He's coming to get us! Quick! cried Owl. Hide! All the animals hid, except for Patch, who picked up one not-so-squashed sandwich and walked right up to the dark cave. Come back here, hare, Fox cried, but Patch tiptoed closer. As Patch peeked in, he heard Bear sigh. Oh, I'm old and I'm cold. I'm too shivery cold to sleep. He's not hungry, Patch whispered. He's cold. Oh, poor Bear. All day long, Patch couldn't stop worrying about Bear. Finally, he lay down under a tree to think. He looked up and saw the leaves made a patchwork against the evening sky. And Patch had an idea. That night, he tiptoed through the forest, borrowing things from all the animals. Patch pinned and stitched till dawn. When the animals woke up, they were hopping mad. Just then, Patch appeared. He spread a beautiful patchwork quilt on the ground. You took my shirt, exclaimed Fox. I only meant to help, said Patch. But the animals grumbled and shouted even louder. Suddenly, Bear stomped into the clearing. He lifted Fox into the air. I said, be quiet, he roared. I'm trying to sleep. The animals shook with fear. Except Patch, of course. Patch jumped onto a stump. Don't be angry, Mr. Bear, he begged. We brought you a present. Look, it's made from clothes borrowed from all the animals. The old bear sniffed, then gently set Fox down. You gave your things to me, he said. What fine friends you are. He made a quilt to keep you warm. Bear clutched the cozy quilt to his furry chest and shuffled back into the cave. Hey, Mr. Bear, called Patch. How about some bedtime stories? And so, as the first flakes of snow drifted down, the animals snuggled together and told stories until Bear fell fast asleep. The end. Thanks for joining me for a wonderful story. I hope you have a great evening. Remember, Jesus loves you.